Alrighty, so we had a quick trip to Maribor Post Office because why? Uh, someone accidentally ordered the wrong size tights from Alice KD. Lucky they do free returns and they're straight onto it and my other ones have already been sent. Well that's good. And it arrived this morning so I did a straight return and sent the other ones back. Yep. And Plus we also had to do postal votes too. So Yes, thanks Queensland for having lunch. Yep, by election and federal election. Okay, I don't know. It's a by election. By election a and a state election, yep. I know what I'm doing. I know. Look. Yeah, right. We posted the votes, so it's all good now. So now we're off to, I don't know, check out uh, what else Maribor has to offer. I think we need to get some uh, stuff. We, we need to get Benji some new tyres. Alrighty, so Easter is coming up very soon, so we need to prepare, and we're going to hide some Easter eggs for the kids in the back here means I'll have to get rid of some up and go, prevent them from going in the fridge. Well, good morning. So we're still at Dad's, chilling out. We're waiting for some packages still. Went shopping yesterday and we came across these little bad boys. Vegemite hot cross buns. Oh, sorry, Vegemite and cheese hot cross buns. So let's try these out. Don't know how I feel if it's going to have that hot cross bunny taste mixed with a bit of uh, Vegemite and cheese, but yeah, we'll, we'll give it a go and let you know how it is. So, what do you think? No, not bad. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, doesn't have that sweet taste. It's more of just a Vegemite and cheese roll uh, with a cross on it. Now, if you guys happen to visit Maribor in Victoria, well, come down to Mill House on a Thursday morning uh, about nine o'clock. It does open at 9.30, but what you get for a gold coin donation is you can fill up a bag of groceries. So you get a choice of a wide range of things, um, uh, ranging from fruit and veggie to sanitary products, a toothpaste, to cereals, baked beans, depends on what they got on the day. So take a, take a bag, fill it up, um, and yeah, if you want to save yourself some money, yeah, come down to the mill house. Now, we got here down at nine o'clock and there was already a big lineup. Um, now, I've just gone through to see what there is available. There's not much left now, but before the tables were chockers full. So if you do see, come down here, come down at nine. It'll be uh, very, very good for the pocket. Alrighty guys, welcome to the Mill House. Now we've got the lady who pretty much runs the show, Michelle. Hello. How you doing? I'm very well. So you want to tell us a bit, bit about what is going on here at the Mill House? Yeah, so on a Thursday morning, every Thursday morning, we have a team of volunteers who arrives really early in the morning yep. and we use the volunteers um, support to be able to set up a massive market. We have a smaller market on alternate Thursdays. This was the smaller market, but on the bigger market week, we have up to 800 kilos of fresh produce wow. and about 800 kilos of pantry items. So bread, cereals, pastas, pasta sauce, uh, peanut butter, anything you can imagine, toothpaste, deodorants, sanitary items, um, and then as soon as the market's over, yep. we um, have a couple of volunteers to hang around and, and keep supporting people to get the last few bags of potatoes or pumpkins, okay. whatever's going on. And then we pop inside the building and we run an All Abilities cooking group, which is very well attended. Yeah? Yeah. So oh, okay. it's just helping people to develop independent living skills. That's really good and really good for the community. Absolutely. Yeah. So. All these items, where do they come from? So we, sometimes we get donations from community members who might have a glut of peaches or something, yep. um, but we purchase it in from Food Bank and Food Share. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's really, really good. And so this is only up open on Thursdays no, for this No, we're one? open. For, oh, so the, the market happens on a Thursday. Cooking yep. happens on a Thursday. Yep. Friday, we've got a free community lunch okay. called a Friday Feast. It's a proper white tablecloth two course celebration yep. of culinary delights oh, <laughs> and that's uh, really that good. happens every Friday at 12. Yep. Um, on a Tuesday we've got 
scrapbooking. Um, we have free art classes. We have craft classes. Yeah. And um, we're also the home of lots of so social groups. So we're the home of Pride Goldfield. We're the home of Rotary. Yep. Um, thinking off the top of my health, who else do we home here? Um, we have a, um, a family therapist who works from here, yep. an osteopath, uh, and, and then a lot of our rooms are tenanted by job network providers. Wow, that's really, really good. Alrighty guys, well, if you do happen to visit Maribor in Victoria, not Maribor in Queensland, where I'm from, <laughs> well, come down to the Mill House. Um, come and have and a cuppa come or have something a, Come have a cuppa, check it out, um, and uh, fill, fill a bag up. So what does it cost? It's, it's by donation. By donation? Yeah. So gold coin donation or whatever you can afford. Um, and then just bring one and, bag. And it, yeah, bring a bag. We've got bags if you need them. Okay. And um, there's no limit to what you can take. And um, and if you don't have a donation, that's fine as well. We understand that sometimes people just don't, and that's what we're here for. Well, with the increased cost of living these days, Correct. I mean, some people are doing it pretty tough. Yeah, and, yeah. It's, and it's good to have something like this to, uh, I guess, supplement that because, yeah, everything's going up. Fuel, food, groceries, rent, um, phone bills, phone everything. bills, interest rates, all of that. So um, if you do happen to come down, uh, check it out and um, see the the main lady here. All Looking right. Looking forward to seeing you all. Bye. All right. Thanks. So how did everyone do at the meal house today? It's good. Really, really yeah. Yeah. Yes. Get the stuff for your dad. Yeah, it's pretty so, good there actually. You yeah. Know, you give a couple of dollars, a dollar donation, and uh, saves a lot of money, especially when you're on a pension. What do you think of it, son? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good, pretty well laid out, pretty organised. Yeah, the lady does a good job actually. Now, Dad and I tried to film fixing Benji's bike, but we had more fam drop in for a good old chat. Hello, mate. How you going? How's your, how's your uh, arm, mate? There you go, mate. Hungry. Hey? Hungry. You good? Hungry? Yeah, I am hungry. Is that where the vein's sticking out the side? Oh, there. Jeez, they made a mess. Didn't they? Happy International Women's Day, baby. Thanks. Because you're a woman, so you'll get special International Women's Prize. Does it involve neck function? Because my neck does not function at the moment. Yep. It'll involve a massage for the neck to give it more movement. Right. Is this a prize for me or a prize for you? Everybody gets a prize. Oh. Everybody ah. gets a prize. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go to Bendigo. Let's go to Bendigo, go, 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 Bendigo. <laughs> Someone help. <laughs> I need some more sleep. <laughs> Bendigo, go, go, go. Need more sleep. Go. Whose fault is that if you've got no sleep? Uh, you. It's not my fault. Uh, your fluffs keep me up. Oh, bull crap, mate, and you know it. Okay. You fell asleep here at like 8 o'clock last night and then said, I'm not sleeping, I'm just resting for a minute. You were snoring your head off, and then when I got up and had a shower, when I finished my book, I was going to go to bed, then you woke up, got up, did all kinds of things, and stood on your phone for an hour and a half, and left the lights on. <laughs> I was recharged. I and was, then complains, I didn't sleep. I was going to edit, but then I thought I'd set an alarm. Yeah, oh. how'd that go? <laughs> yeah, so I said, hey Siri, uh, set an alarm for nine minutes. And then what did Siri say? Alarm set for 43 minutes and 59 seconds. I'm like, what the hell? I don't yeah. know where I got that from. Yeah. From one syllable to like six. Yeah, but it didn't do any good anyway because you didn't get up after your nine minutes. True. I needed that 43 <laughs> minutes and 59 You're seconds. You're late snoring. I just wanted two to, hours. I just wanted to recharge. Shoot, it was longer than that. It was like two and a half hours. It, and then suddenly uh, you start doing things. Camera that looks like a bomb's gone off. Yeah, so don't look that way. Sort it out. Why is the water jug in the sink, by the way? I just filled it up and, and I got then, put it in the sink. I only did half a job. I got distracted. 
Wait, right, International a... Women's Day. And then um, cupboard uh... open. Beep. Let's cut it here. All right. So where are we? At the shops. Why? To get mummy new eyebrows. <laughs> No, well, she's not getting new eyebrows. I think she's getting her eyebrows done so that they don't end up like daddy's. Yep. What do you mean? Well, they'll get big and bushy. Yeah. What about bushy? <laughs> yeah, you're about bushy. Yes, they are. While still waiting for packages to arrive, we shoot off to Melbourne for the day and happen to catch the Moomba Festival. Alrighty guys, now we're down here at the Yarra up in uh, Melbourne and the weather has turned it up today. It is 38 degrees at the moment. Well, according to Depth Watch, it's 37. 36? Or 36. Wow. But it feels like 38. Anyway, we're down here because the Moomba Festival is on. There are rides, fun, games. Oh, it's all happening down here. So we're just going to check it out, take you along for the ride. The kids have already put their eyes on uh, the rides and games and stuff there, but we'll see what there is and uh, we'll check it out. Hang on, Emily. Now, as well as rides and games, they had water skiing displays going for most of the day on the Yarra River. With a one ride limit, the kids decided to go on the Ferris wheel, which they've been on the exact same one at the Brisbane show. Yeah, the Echo at Brisbane, which is where we were on the same Ferris wheel. They've got that pirate right over there. Oh, breeze. Oh, that breeze is nice. That sun is a scorcher. Yeah, that's not pleasant. I feel like it's uh, maybe 38, but I really want to the go sun is a light burny. Now on a stinking hot day, the best way to hydrate is at the free hydration stations all around the festival. Now as well as water skiers on the river, they also had an awesome display of jetpacks from Jetpack Entertainment. What do you think about the jetpacks, babe? They're pretty cool. Yeah, so they were from Jetpack Entertainment. They opposed, supposedly were in a competition. It was hard to tell. They were pretty good, both of them. It, that water looked really nice because there's a bit of a stinker out here today. Ooh. You mentioned the weather a lot. <laughs> well, I have because it is a stinker. It's pretty hot. Yeah. We're yeah, going to get some food now. Um, and. Maybe head back, or maybe extend the parking, not too sure. Again? Okay, maybe not. Mate, so, we already got a two hour drive to get back to your dad's place. Okay, so plan is, we're going to have some food, walk back to the car. I don't or walk, get or walk, at midnight. No, walk back to the tram, tram it to the car, car it to the dad's. Alright. Car it to the dad's? <laughs> yeah, wow. car it to the dad's. So, it'll be uh, a nice, cool drive in the aircon. Oh, that breeze is quite good. The Mumba Festival is actually quite good. Apparently it's 70 years of this Mumba Festival. So we'll um, enjoy it while we can because I don't know if we'll be down here for quite some time. Now, as well as the ride slides, fun and games, Mumba Festival has a wide variety of foods. I mean, there is a lots of uh, culinary experiences to be had here but the kids want some swirly deep fried potatoes so we're going to try and find that um, there's one right here hey Emily what have you got wow show us oh that's pretty cool alrighty what have we got here 
That's it. Bow chicka bow wow. Yay, we having fun in Melbourne? Yeah. All right, <laughs> cool. Is it hot in Melbourne? Is it hot in Victoria? Yes. Yes, yes we had to, I had to keep cool with my shirt. Yeah, yeah you but did. you had to, yeah, wet his shirt to keep cool. Emily wasn't so keen. I was keen, but I didn't. But uh, the Moomba Festival was quite good. Yeah. Yeah, one, what ride did we go on? Ferris wheel. Who likes the Ferris wheel? Me too, yeah. And we watched, and we, and we watched the big kids go on, on the scooters on the skate park. We did watch the skate competition, oh, didn't we? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, all right. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Let's it's go. Right in this bag. Better go back. Uh, I think we need to. Yeah, we got to hire Tyler because it's going to be dark when we get home. It's getting dark now, and we've got a two hour drive. Yeah, oh. come on. Okay. It's in this bag. Later. Woo. So it's quite busy down here at Flinders Street Station. Heading back, I think uh, slushies are in order. It's so hot. I think we'll allow it. The kids have probably sweated it off. So we'll, uh, we've got to go left. Dad's direction's uh, not so great. But we'll head this way and we'll head back to the car. Yep, hop on. Come on, quick, hop on. You ready to hop off? Yep. So babe, how is it? It's free. What happened? It's free. Ooh, all day or just after seven? Uh, just Labor Day. Which is today? Yeah. So we didn't get charged anything? No. Oh. So I didn't need to worry about doing it in the first place. But anyway. <laughs> so we just keep adding and adding but then didn't Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Woo. But I just read the meter earlier, so just looking at the uh, number, because I just do it on the app. Yeah. Hot tip, everyone get the parking apps. Yes. It's much that easier. doesn't have it. I probably should. You sort of don't understand how they work. <laughs> I do, Let alone yeah. have one. Ah, uh, look. Anyway. I know. Let's go. Ready to rock and roll? And it's Yeah, we're going. Yes, well, we're going to go to sleep. In the you guys anyway. <laughs> okay, Let's gotta go. go. Bye. Bye. Now before we head off, it was time to give the old girl and the van a good old wash down. <laughs> then it was time to say goodbye to the fan bam and hit the road. In the next episode, we hit the road to one of Australia's most iconic drives, the Great Ocean Road. A journey through the darkness Through the deepest and the hardest I wear the scars like tattoos Every single break and bruise So I know what the cost is